Well, it fundamentally denies a citizen the right of a judicial trial. A judicial trial is in civilian court is the procedure of which is determined by our criminal procedure court or our civil procedure court and uh, those procedures have been vetted by uh, the judiciary time and again and then principles have been introduced because of the constitution and the constitutional freedoms uh, and certain maxims of justice which we rely on um, and all of those is denied to you uh, a um, they are in camera trials uh, b your access to your lawyer uh, is and the privilege a client and a lawyer has are, are denied uh, denied to you and the access of the lawyer is, is not as freely as one can choose to do so uh, be the way the evidence is examined and the onus on the prosecution that varies a lot um, the credibility associated to the evidence uh, and the barometers for that that varies differently the consideration of the judge uh, who is sitting over there are completely different when dispensing justice as opposed to a civil judge who's been trained uh, in the uh, in the in, ju- in the proceedings of judicial trial, so there are fundamental differences, uh, um, and uh, the procedures are there to regulate and ensure that uh, nobody who's come to court or surrendered before court, because see, when an accused is before court, he is deemed to have surrendered because he's not attempting an escape, or even if he has come to court through application of a bail, he's deemed to have surrendered, and he's had thrown himself at the mercy of the court. So the court is to ensure, the burden is on the court to ensure that a fair trial has been carried out and the burden is uh, of proving guilt is put entirely on the prosecution and there's no presumption of guilt. Um, these rules or these ethics are not followed when there's a martial trial. The law says that you would have a right to a counsel, but then it also immediately says that if there is an issue that uh, a lawyer may be provided to you. Uh, and uh, I believe that's what's done because uh, the point is uh, if you, the media, or the families don't have access to those who are being presented before the military court, as they say, the legal process has already started, so said by the army chief. Uh, Who is to ensure that uh, were they actually asked about which lawyer to engage and were they given the chance and the time and opportunity to engage that lawyer and did a meeting with that lawyer indeed happen or have they only complied with the paperwork? I mean, if somebody is filling in a form for me and forcing me to affix my stamp or my, my signature or my thumbprint on it, uh, who, what is to ensure? Because there is no transparency, because these records are not public records. I mean, till date, uh, have we been able to determine and find out how was Idri Satak's trial carried out? I was uh, Hassan Askri's uh, trial carried out. We know how they were abducted. We know how they were taken away. But beyond that, uh, how exactly were the trials carried out? Uh, e- even though with all the challenges, because people weren't present, people did not know. They were not in court to know what happened and how the matters were conducted.